Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I am Catherine of Sky, the Belt Diva. And if you are sharp-eyed, you will see that I have eliminated all of the ore unloading from these trains. I'm just basically using up what ore we have left in the system because... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I seem to have deleted the power poles as well. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Um, what I'm going to do is I have long been talking about moving over um, green circuit making uh, as well as iron smelting. And so that's what we're going to do is because all of this stuff is actually quite in the way. All of these smelters and things and stuff and... It's kind of, oh shoot, I accidentally <laughs> hit my hit my attack button, whoops. Um, so we, we, we need the space down there. Uh, so we can basically just run these lines up through the factory. Uh, we'll also move steel while we're at it because uh, I don't wanna have two locations to have to drop off ore, but looks like, oh geez, this needs ore as well. Oh my, so this is gonna be a little bit more complicated. I'll have, I guess, a small ore train running here to supply the concrete manufacture uh, because obviously we're gonna need that a little bit uh, once you see my other project that I started uh, in between episodes. But I think what I wanna do is I'll move all of the iron smelting furnaces and stuff up to a location which is right here this is next to two iron um, iron ore deposits three actually over here those could even be belted in if we would like i'm going to do something very similar to what we did here with the copper uh, plate making and uh, we'll just put it up here this is a huge chunk of land here which we can expand uh, in quite a few directions if we should want to and then green circuits i'm still thinking here is a good spot for those um, and, but first we need to move the iron and then we can move the green circuits afterward. Okay. This is where it's on. All right. So these trains will wait forever to unload, but basically we're just going to get, um, those furnaces relocated. That's, that's going to be the plan for this episode. I am planning on doing a weekend special, uh, for the belt diva because frankly, we are just, uh, we're, we're facing a huge amount of work to do right now and I want to get it done. So there's a couple of things that I also, what is going on there? There's an inserter on the belt. What an odd thought. Huh? I don't know how the heck that blue inserter got there. Uh, that was very funky. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make some hazard concrete. Uh, let's see. It looks like it needs just 10 concrete and shove it into a box so we can do that we'll do this. Just be very uh, nonchalant about doing this. And or I could uh, no, let's do that. Put a nice assembler here ish. Oh, all right. That's just fine, though, because we don't need anything severe going on. Okay, and this obviously is not going to make a ton of this stuff. Can I put productivity modules? No, but I can put efficiencies. Okay. And wow, it makes 10 concrete for 10 bits. And that's very, very fast. We don't really even need uh, anything for that. So let's make a, um, a passive provider there. And just have it unload into there. And you know what? This can have a stack inserter. Um, or not. You know what? There's no need for that. Just shove it in. And we will connect this to the logistics system. And we'll say we want how much hazard concrete? I don't know. Like 500 pieces, maybe? All right, let's go. So you might be wondering why the need for hazard concrete. Or you might not be wondering. I'm not quite sure. But uh, I'll show you in a sec. What I have done is made a path. A lovely path and this is a mistake here uh, let me make sure I have the blueprints I need for going out into the world Let's see we have pump jacks these these that is it in this book aha it is in this book that we have our furnaces so we do actually have everything that we need mostly 
put this in here. Okay, so let's be on our way. And you'll see many robots going here and there. Oh yes, and that's the other thing I want to build. I know it's been requested a couple of times uh, to build the train crossing thing. So I might put one here as well as on the south side. I haven't gotten to that yet. So anyway, this see-through-y um, stripey bit is all the hazard concrete that has not yet been placed. So that's why it is it was imperative that we set up assembly for that. So that can get made while we're doing the more important things of creating stuff things around here. So this is kind of a big job. I think what I would like to do, I guess it doesn't matter necessarily. I would like to have, you know, either loading or unloading one of them here and one on the other side because that seems to make some sense to me. I know not everybody's the same and we don't all think the same obviously but that's what I'd like to do. Maybe I will have since we have all this ore here and over there maybe I'll put the unloading of ore at the north side of this station. Um, that would seem to be okay. So let me see do I have a copy of the train station. You know what? I think I'm going to go. What I'll do is I'll cut the video here. I'm going to go back down to the other area and grab blueprints of the stuff for the copper and I will be right back. All right and I have returned complete with blueprint book in hand and stuff added. So we have our loading station and our unloading station which I forgot again. I keep typing the names and I forget to press the save label. So that's what um, I got a little bit caught up on there. So let's just get that unloading thing back. There it is. Okay, and see how we wanna align this thing. So this is straight from the copper uh, area and I really, uh, I, I took the whole thing. I would rather that the station face the east, but um, it's not really that critical because I really didn't want to redo the entire belt alignment thing. So what I'm going to do is um, I might actually do the unloading bit first because I have a plan. I have a thought and a plan. So this guy, oh gosh, and of course it has to be um, nighttime when this happens. Alas. So these stations are facing south, which is just fine with me. I'm quite happy with that. Alrighty, and I would actually rather that the belts came from the south, but that's okay. We're not we're not totally bothered by this. We can we can change things around. It's okay. I just want to make sure we're not intersecting any of those. We are intersecting this robo port, but it's not that critical. Um, one thing that I definitely wanted to do is get all of the signals sorted out uh, so that we wouldn't have to bother with a lot of that stuff, uh, re-putting them down and all that kind of thing. So hopefully our robots will get placement uh, of the lights, especially, soon. So we like lights. Here we go. We're going to have a light right there. Uh, and I actually want to get rid of a lot of these belts here because we do not need them. It's kind of a waste to put them down because they're just not needed. Oops, and I made that mistake there. That's okay though. I'm not bothered. It's okay. Let's get rid of these guys. Go. And everything aside of the splitters. There we are. So hopefully now this is all well within our construction range and we should see an army of robots come up here. There they come. They're starting to come here from the world. And well, maybe those are the deconstruction robots to get those bits. Yeah, that's what they're going for. All right. So that's already going well, I think, generally. Let's get rid of this and replace this entire design. I want that to have all the signals and the railroad bits and tracks and things. All right, there we go. Oh my God, that was dumb. Uh -huh. Ha 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 ha. See, that's what I get for being lazy. Oi, not a good plan. Okay, that's okay though. We can clear it. It's not totally a problem. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. Don't delete this. Ha, I saved it. So uh, in case you're wondering, you can do shift 
uh, and then De deconstruction planner to cancel a deconstruction order. So I could do shift these guys to make them work again and then shift not those guys to um, fix that. Okay, so we have a little bit too many signals there, uh, but these are the ones that are important. So now that we have this in place, let's figure out how far to the left we want to have our unloading station for ore. Okay, this is the unloading station. Let's put that in a little slot here. And there we go. Okay, so this is just plenty, plenty spaced out there for for that. Uh, I also don't want to be too terribly close to that intersection, so I'll just put this a bit away. It doesn't really matter how far it is. All right, okay, one thing I want to do is edit this blueprint get rid of these power poles and the robo ports because I definitely don't want those or the middle signals uh, because we already have some on the main line so I really don't want those there let's see if we can get that better there we go that's a lot happier and let's just put it what is that is that a rock hot it's a giant rock okay so here we go and I want to have at least one train length from that, I believe. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, UI, why you do this to me? I wanted to see the, oops, wait, what is that? Oh, that's a wall, really? Why does it have an L on it? Long? Oh, it's probably long, okay. Never mind. let's go back to our unloading station wherever it went aha that is a station this is the right station this is what I want so my idea was to to see we can actually see on the ground there one two three four five so we want to have it at least that far from from the intersection and this is actually almost perfect I think this will do as a uh, as a example of perfection in building right there that's okay that's what we wanted very very nice i also took a nice little um snapshot here of our funky belt combination coordination thingy so that when we uh s s basically tap these ore deposits which i'm going to do uh we're going to just put those things down let's see where did I put the ore deposit blueprint here it is and we can actually do these in I don't know if it's better to do close together or far apart I'm really kind of conflicted on that at the moment uh, which one to use because it seems to me like you get them all sorted about the same way so I don't know anyway it's not critical in any case okay let's just shove that there We'll just do this one apart. Go. Go with this. And we'll do those. There we go. One apart. And it'll get all the end bits off of there. Very nice. I think I forgot to do that blueprint for the entire field. I was going to go back and I never did that. I think I'll, I can do that for this one. Okay. So, hello. You guys are having modules. How nice. Looks great. Ah, yes, that's right. I was going to do that as well as grab a blueprint where the power poles actually connect together. Because a lot of them may not if there are too many um, spaces in between. If I put two spaces, I think it doesn't connect properly or something. So, I remember having that difficulty with that particular blueprint. So, it looks like I have insufficient amount of miners, alas. Uh, and I will either, maybe I should just put a quick RoboPort connection here so that this can connect this stuff for us, just so we can build up this mining area. And of course, the station as well. So, let me get rid of this here. Let's put this this way to the side. Uh, because we definitely need this area um, buildable. 
Oh, we already have a RoboPort there. That's interesting. Okay, get rid of that one. And let's connect this guy with some power. Oops, wait, that's the wrong spot. There we go. That's a better spot. Okay, and let's have a bit of a light there. There are two, so we can see what's going on. Ah, not, not, not two, two. That's not what I meant at all. So now, hopefully they can um, place down this RoboPort. I can shove it in myself, actually. And we'll need power, of course. Good. That'll do if I put it there. All right, and that one is still not connected. Oh, dear. Fine. I'll waste an extra power pole. I kind of thought that these guys would be connected, but I think they're just too far apart, these... Um, these poles. In any case, we need to basically just grab these, uh, change the inserters because they are definitely programmed for the wrong thing. Uh, but that's okay. We'll sort it out. We're going to get it. Okay, go away, inserters. Shoo, shoo, shoo. There we are. So that's all those dealt with and taken care of. Okay, and let's put another RoboPort down. Maybe here. Shh. Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. Still in the blueprint. Just hasn't been placed. Come on, robots. I feel you're getting lazy. You must place things. Proceed. Get going, man. Get going. I suspect they're all flying from the base, basically, uh, and bringing all of these things to us because we're needing a lot of belts. Look at my inventory. It's almost empty comparatively uh, with what are compared to what we had earlier. So let's grab these inserters and we are going to... Wait, this is unloading. So we're going to take them all off. All the stuffs go off. And the filter is going to be for uh, iron ore. Good. I'll copy this whole assembly. And there we go. And now get that again. That's one of the things that annoys me is that those blueprints go back into your inventory. Okay, so here we go. This goes on the bottom. This one this way. Alright. Yay! We have progress. We have things being made, done, stuff, happiness, things. Yes, all that stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this up here so we can start getting a little bit of uh, production on this. Oh god, there's so much crap over here. Okay, trees, go away. Shoot, we don't need you here. Go away, go away. Place this down with the connection. There it is. Good. Now, let's get these guys connected a bit here. All right. Life is now better over here. You can just tell. It's nice. Let's just trim off the edges. Bits we do not need. Okay. Excellent. So, this is a much bigger deposit. I think probably all of this produce could go into one line, I'm thinking. So let's just make that happen. Oh, whoops. Okay. Let's get rid of that and take these trees out the way. And what I need to do is get out this stuff. And I still want to keep these loading and unloading stations because we're going to need them for green circuits. So I want to keep those in my inventory so I don't forget to bring them again. That could be slightly inconvenient. This one is just going to go all the way up. All the way up. Or most of the way up anyway. All right. And I suspect we're just having... Uh, right now issues with belt production or belt transport 
I'm going to have to go check on that because I can optimize it. In any case, we have run out of time for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky, and watch for the special this weekend. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.